My message was primarily thanking him for making the trip to El Paso because like I said, I don't think you really understand um, what we as a community are um, having to go through when we see these surges. Uh, El Paso has always been a welcoming community and we've always always welcome those in need with open arms and we're always going to be that way. We're never going to change. You know, I think the message that we we're trying to impart, up, impart upon him uh, both, uh, you know, we need to continue to uh, uh, treat these people in a humane fashion, uh, thank him for the resources that his administration has provided to the county up, up to this point, and thank him for, you know, uh, committing to provide further resources. He asked what we needed the most. Uh, but we do need help. We can't do it on our own. We have tremendous um, nonprofit organizations, just community volunteers, just people who, out of the goodness of their heart, will do anything that they can to help improve the situation, but we do need help, and that's why it was so important for the president to have come. We thank the president for his work to try to relieve some of the pressure that we have here at the border, but um, the humanitarian crisis, even though uh, uh, it may not exist here, it's going to exist somewhere, and it's and it's unfair to push that on our, our Mexican counterparts, our Mexican neighbors, or the other countries. Um, there's still going to be a humanitarian crisis until we figure out what to do with immigration reform and, and um, that's, you know, the end goal.